friends and welcome to my studio. I'm your friend Momo and today we're talking sweatshirts. Sweatshirts is a new public uniform. Everybody is staying home, everybody wants to be cozy. Literally every brand on the market is making sweatshirts and selling out. I don't really like sweatshirts because they're boxy. Most of the sweatshirts on the market are cut like a sack. It doesn't really do anything for the extra pounds that I have put on in the last four months. So today I'm going to be transforming a sack of potato sweatshirt to something a little more form-fitting that looks a little nicer so I can not only wear it around the house but I can also look nice while I do my grocery run. As a bonus project we will also be creating a zero waste embellishment. I'm creating this beautiful heart shape from the scraps of the fabric that I have collected. I usually don't throw away the scraps from the projects that I do especially if it's a nice color because I want to create artwork afterwards. So as a bonus project, today we're going to be creating this beautiful embellishment for your t-shirt. There are many different projects that you can make from this technique. You can make embellishments, you can make brooches for the winter wear, and if you have extra scraps, you can even make an entire jacket out of it. This is a very simple technique. I'm going to show you step by step how it's done. If you don't yet follow me on Instagram, now is a good time to do that as I'm planning my first giveaway. The link is down below. I would appreciate if you follow me there as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get notifications for all the projects that I'm doing. Let's get started. Let's start with customizing the fit. As you can see, this sweatshirt is really boxy. It's straight up and down and it has no shape to it. We're going to fix that. Mark your chest and shoulder measurements. The shoulders on this sweatshirt are about an extra four inches. I'm going to fix that. Let's turn this inside out and start marking. My shoulder measurement is about 16 inches, which is relaxed fit. From the neckline that makes about 6 inches, I'm going to mark here. Same on the other side. Next I'm measuring the center back and center front. Next I'm putting a dot where the bust line is. And I'm measuring the bust measurement, which in my case relaxed, it's about 21 inches. Next measure the length of the sleeve. In this sweatshirt, I get about 15 inches of the sleeve. So 15 plus 6 shoulder is going to give me uh, enough of a long sleeve. So I'm going to go with that. I also marked my waist measurement. Once that is done, I connected all the dots, created the curve of the sleeve, curve of the waist and cut it out. Fold it over and mark the same measurements on the other side and cut them out. While I was cutting I realized that I could uh, reclaim about 3 more inches in the sleeve so that would give me a proper long sleeve and I included that so I'm going to cut out the sleeve now and include the piece of fabric that came out of the uh, shoulder section and that is going to give me an 18 inch sleeve which is a full sleeve so that's what I'm going to go with. So depending on what kind of sweatshirt you have you can take your arm measurement and you can cut uh, the sweatshirt as it suits you. You can choose to go for a three quarter sleeve or a full sleeve, whatever you like. So the leftover scraps from the cuttings we are going to keep and we are going to chop down to make our embellishment. Just cut out random small pieces. I wanted my heart to have different colors, so I'm using scraps from leftover projects. I have teal, red, orange, and then this uh, fuchsia pink that came from the sweatshirt. You can choose different colors, metallics brocade if you have any or really anything that you have lying around it always works you 
the embellishment a structure, I'm using some tool that I had lying around from another project. I just made a, a rectangle sort of bag sort of thing, about 6 by 6 inches. And I used my serger to close the edges. I kept one side open so I could slide the scraps inside. Fill the scraps in this mesh bag layer by layer using your hand to rearrange the scraps. Once you're happy with what it looks like, close the open end of the bag with some rough basting stitches with your thread and needle and you're ready to move over to your sewing machine. Just make sure to press it flat. Um, if you want to use the iron, use a very low setting because it's mesh fabric and tool melts very quickly. So don't use high heat setting. For the top stitching I'm using gold thread. For the first pass, just do random cross lines. This is to make sure that your patch is stable while you're doing the top stitching for the heart or any other shape that you're cutting out. So the patch is now ready and as you can see the colors are now diffused because while we were stitching, some of the little scraps mixed in together with the other colors and this is fine. I really like this look. Use a vanishing fabric marker to draw the shape that you want to cut out. In my case it's the heart, so I'm going to draw that. And start to run your machine over and over again on the outline that you have created. Just give it at least 4 or 5 passes so it's sturdy. All the little fabrics inside the patch are sewn together and they don't move in the wash. Trim away all the loose threads and cut out the shape. Try and stay as close to the outline as possible, making sure not to cut into any of the stitches that you've made so it doesn't unravel when you wash the sweatshirt. Use a thread and needle to attach the heart to your sweatshirt or you can bring it to the sewing machine and you can do a couple passes. In my case the fabric was so thick that my needle would not work uh, through so many layers of different fabrics. And I did not have a denim needle at this time, so I just attached it with a thread and needle. And that's it guys, it's done. I'm just going to attach the sleeves, stitch the sides and our sweatshirt is ready. Here's a close up of our applique. As you can see all the little scraps of fabrics are encased and completely binded inside of the tool fabric. They are not going to unravel in the wash. The sweatshirt looks good because now it's going to be my size, it's going to fit better, although a little loose because that's how I like my sweatshirts. If you learned something from this video, please share with your friends and family. If you choose to make this project, please tag me on Instagram, my hashtag is MoomooMix and I would love to see how you made it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys 